G'day. How fast can you work out the probability of winning this game of chance that we have here? We have a lottery that has players choose three different numbers from balls numbered 1 through to 12. What we're trying to work out is what is the chance of winning this lottery here. So I'll give you five seconds to try and solve this and then I'll come back with the answer. Go. So time's up. Did you get the probability of winning this particular game of chance here as 1 in 220? If you did, congratulations, that's the correct answer. But if not, hey, stay tuned because right now I'm going to go through how you can easily calculate the probability of winning games of chance like this as well as things like horse racing as well. So we'll start off by having a look at our example right here. So for our lottery that's occurring here, we're selecting three different balls from 12. So what we're going to do in the first part of calculating uh, the probability here, is we start with 12, and we're gonna multiply this many times, three times down in descending consecutive order. It sounds like a bit of a mouthful, but it's not that bad. So descending consecutive order. It's basically saying, what's the number under 12, which is 11, and then the number under 11, which is 10. They're going in descending consecutive order, and we do this this many times. So 12 times 11 times 10. And this is equal to, well, 12 times 11 is 132, multiplied by 10, this is 1,320. Okay, we're almost there. What we're going to have to do, though, is we're going to have to divide this by the number of different ways that we could arrange the same three balls. So I'll tell you what I mean by this. Say the balls that we chose were these ones here. We chose 1, 2, and 3 as the numbers that we were trying to get. Well, this would be the same result as getting 3, 2, and 1, and 2, 3, and 1, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out how many different ways we could arrange these three balls here. And it's a pretty easy thing to do. The way we do this is as follows. Starting with our 3 here, we're going to multiply down in descending consecutive order once again. Okay, until we hit the number 1. So 3 times 2 times 1. And we're going to see what that equals. 3 times 2 is equal to 6, multiplied by 1, it stays as a 6. So, to get our answer now, what we're going to do is we are going to divide here. 1,320 divided by 6 is 220. We have a 1 in 220 probability of winning this game of chance here. Nice and simple, right? So, just want to go through those steps quickly again. The first thing we do is we're choosing three balls from 12. So starting with 12, we multiply three times in descending consecutive order. That's what we had here. And then for our three here, we had descending consecutive order. We multiplied once again, and then we divided one into the other. And we had our probability there, nice and simple. Hey, right, pretty simple, right? So if you like this trick, hit the like button and remember to subscribe. Now, what about we have a look at another example here? So for the next example, what is the chance of correctly choosing the first two horses in a race with 15 horses? Now this one's even a little bit easier, so I think you can give it a go without too much effort. We're selecting two from 15. Do you want to give it a go? Ah, I'm going to go through the answer anyway right now. So, um, so we're starting with 15 horses, and we're going to multiply down in descending consecutive order two times. So 15 multiplied by 14. 15 multiplied by 14, that's 210. Now we're going to divide this by the number of different ways we could arrange two different horses. Well, that's a pretty easy one to work out, but we'll do this anyway. Uh, that is 2 multiplied by 1. 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2. So what we're going to do is we divide now. 210 divided by 2, this is 105. Now the chance of Correctly choosing those first two horses in a race with 15 horses is 1 in 105. Hey, pretty cool, right? Let you go with that one, okay? I'll tell you what, I'm going to get going and I'm going to leave the last question for you to answer and give the answer in the comments. By the way, if you like this video, once again, hit the like button and subscribe and maybe consider becoming a patron. But for the next question, see if you can solve it put the answer in the comments. And that's this question here. And this is based around a lottery we have in Australia. A lottery has players choose six different numbers from balls numbered one through to 45. And if you win first division, if you choose these, you win millions of dollars. So what is the chance of winning this particular lottery here? Now look, the numbers are gonna be bigger now, so be careful. But put your answer in the comments, like I said. 
Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you like that trick. I'll see you next time.